What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanna to show you a very, very important tool that you should have if you own a Mercedes 2000 or newer. This is a 2003 Mercedes E320 and the tool is the OBD2 scanner, the, Mer the iCarsoft MB2. This scanner was specifically designed to work with Mercedes vehicles. It, work, it works with other cars just like any OBD, but this was specifically designed to work with Mercedes. It can access every single control module or computer in this car, which this car has a lot of them. This specific car has 47 control modules and ECUs and computers and all that stuff that control all kind of different stuff. Engine, transmission, a rear end traction control, ABS, SBC, air conditioning, uh, sunroof, windows, every single thing in Mercedes has its own brain. So you need this tool to access them. And I'm gonna tell you why in a, in a, in a minute. So let's jump in the car and uh, start working with the new scanner. Okay, so now I'm gonna plug the OBD2 connector and it in this car it is right here so i'm just gonna plug it in yep right there okay so now i'm gonna turn the ignition to the on position which is two clicks until all the dash lights come on okay so now that the key is on the on position so what i'm gonna go i'm gonna do the ignos and for other kind of cars you do use the obd2 uh, select here obd2 for mercedes or the smart i think smart is the very small car that you see on the road or there in europe there is uh, minivans and you know uh, commercial vehicles that are smart branded however uh now i'm gonna use bins right here okay so uh so the 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 first thing you see is these features that you can do for these specific cars so you can reset the oil when you change the oil you can reset the brakes because the SBC system in this car is very complicated and if you try and change the brakes without uh, disconnecting the SBC system it can shoot the piston through your hands and, and cause some serious injuries so you want to you want to go to the brake and then it, it goes through a cycle and you, and you change the brakes and then you you go you come back and you reset it again so um, you have to go through the proper procedure in order to replace the brakes on these cars. Um, again, a lot of things are more complicated uh, with the Mercedes vehicles. Um, but uh, with this specific scan tool, it helps you almost do everything. So ETCs, uh, I think it's the electronic uh, transmission controls. Uh, there's like speed sensors and and shifting adaptation, all that stuff. Steering angle, actual the actual steering wheel, uh, you can reset the angle to straight. So when you use the blinkers, it, when you turn it back, um, it 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 turns it off or or keeps the steering wheel straight while while you drive. So uh, DPF, this is the diesel particulate filter. Uh, this car is, is gas engine, so it does not apply applicable. It's not applicable okay so you go to bands again i said this car has 47 computers and control modules uh which is insane it is a lot especially for a 2003 i bet now newer mercedes have a lot more so this is the the software version of the scanner now and look all these vehicles are supported the w117 chassis the cla gla ml m class gl class all those SLK a class so every single car pretty much after 2000 is supported in this scanner so mine is the W211 e class up to 2005 this is correct again there is a lot more but mine is this one right here so I'm gonna hit okay okay it's the sedan the gasoline engine left hand drive in the u.s and it's the e320 so i go down to e320 and you can select manual select and go to the specific uh control module that you want but um i just go automatic it goes through every single control module it doesn't take a long time it's just a, a few seconds as you can see right there 47 so four five and it goes on until it finishes it goes through all of them 
Uh, the car itself is going to make some weird noises and, you know, it's going to let you know like this, the, the air conditioning computer is being accessed, like this one's flashing. Um, all kind of noises, don't worry about it. Once you disconnect it, it's all going to be gone. Okay, so it's going to go through... all right so it is done now it's gonna show all of them okay so transmission control module you can access that it can access any of them and you can read fault codes we don't have any here which is good you can clear but i don't want to clear because the transmission is going to readapt so i like it the way it is electronic selector module engine control module this is for the engine you know all the sensors around the engine i don't i should not have any codes yeah, uh, you can read data streams from all kind of stuff, you know, the, the RPMs, the, the sensors values, anything that's related. There is a lot of stuff this. So, um, all the other computers, the SBC, Sensitronic Brake Control, the ESP, the SRS, the Gateway, the Central Gateway is all these uh, devices right here, you know. Um... The, the electronic uh, ignition switch which is the which is the key right here upper control panel which is uh, there's a bunch of stuff in here there's a temperature sensor the, all the lights the sunroof the sos the phone and all kind of stuff <clears throat> the upper control panel driver's side signal acquisition this is the the uh, blinkers and the passenger sand module there's a, a fuse box that they call a sand module there's three of them i believe in this car one in the passenger side a kick panel one in the trunk one in the engine bay so diagnostic okay battery control yeah there's a module that controls the battery voltage and all that stuff um steering column active service system door control each door has its own brain it, this is this is insane electric seat adjustment okay seat uh air conditioning for the air conditioning when i when i uh pulled the vacuum on the air conditioning it shut it itself off and i couldn't uh, recharge it until i got this scanner and i had to reset the code so i can charge the system because it, it wouldn't let me because it detected low pressure and didn't want to burn the the compressor itself so it just it just uh, I just had to use the scanner to reset the codes and then I, I was able to recharge the system. Heated steering column, uh, steering wheel, which is not applicable. Okay, so a uh, few. So this is what the scanner can do. Pretty much everything on a Mercedes. Um, important th few things that I know. So now I scanned each module and I figured that that my heat air dual valve is is uh, short circuited. So it's right before winter. So I did not know that there's no codes or anything, no check engine lights. So uh, now I know because winter is coming and I have to replace that before winter is coming, uh, before winter comes so I can have heater in my car. Um, I did not know that and, um, and I would have not known unless I, I had to scan the car with this scanner right here. So, um, that's another plus you know you, you know a lot about your car when you have the scanner you can see the data uh, see what's working what's not see what are the values when your car is working properly and re you know log all that and register all this information so if something happens you know you have all the proper information to diagnose your car this thing can do so much uh, it tells you a lot about your car uh, stuff that are broken that you don't even know about so it is it is a um, uh, a very very important tool to have if you own a mercedes 2000 or newer and you plan on saving money and, and doing some work yourself on your car this scanner anyway runs about 150 bucks uh to 200 uh this one is the mb2 i will uh put all the information about this scanner uh in the description below uh, so you guys can uh, can search it and find it and buy it there's no sponsorship or anything anything like that in this video 
Uh, it's just me trying to spread out some helpful information. All right, guys, so that's it for the iCarsoft MB2. Uh, it's a very awesome tool to have. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.